So I did one hell of a hike uh, yesterday on the uh, Halpata Nature Preserve. Um, and this is what I wanted. I, I wanted to be wiped out for New Year's Eve. And uh, I was honestly going to go to the VFW and uh, celebrate. I'm hoping, and I, I, I'm not suggesting this. This is not medical advice. Uh, I'm hoping to catch the Omicron. Uh, version of the virus because I think that'll give me some protection because you don't want the Delta um, you know that that could be devastating so the Omicron just looks like it's a mild cold uh, and you know and I keep preaching this to you herd immunity herd immunity and uh, I think the Omicron version of the virus uh, it's it's going around like crazy uh, and I think that's going to end this whole COVID nightmare uh, that the politicians want to exploit for power I just don't see how they're going to be able to uh, continue uh, with this fiasco. Um, so, you know, so this is kind of my year in review uh, video. I'm just going to talk briefly, uh, you know, um, you know, a lot of positive things. I mean, Kyle Rittenhouse was found not guilty and, uh, and that's in Wisconsin. That's a Democrat state, you know, um, surprisingly enough. And uh, so, you know, that was a wonderful thing. And then uh, what, what was the case in uh, Chicago? Um, God, dang, Jesse, the Jesse guy, he was found guilty in, in deep blue uh, Chicago. <laughs> I mean, the, the Democrats have destroyed that freaking city, you know, but, uh, but hey, you know, I mean, at least uh, justice was done, you know. And of course, Maxwell, I mean, uh, who knows, maybe she's going to sing like a canary and uh, we'll find uh, some of these corrupt uh, billionaires that were out raping kids, uh, you know, on, on uh, at Epstein's uh, uh, island or whatever. So, um, you know, it's been a hell of a year. Uh, well, then look at me. I mean, you know, holy moly. I mean, I had never in a million years would I would have thought after a marriage of 21 years that my wife would move out. And I've been making various videos about that, and uh, I'm still working on it. I mean, my God, I, you know, I, I just, you know, I keep telling you, you know, holy moly, keep your damn accounts separate. I mean, it, I tell you what, Progressive has been the most difficult company to deal with. Somehow her stuff keeps popping up on my aggressive, my, my Progressive uh, auto insurance. Uh, she's bought a new cart. Uh, her sister's insurance got on there. I mean, so I've established a whole new account. I mean, it's it's been a gosh dang nightmare, you know. So uh, you know, it, so I'm I'm still uh, I'm still inventorying everything that she took, and I gotta crunch the numbers, and uh, hopefully I'll be over with this divorce here soon. And uh, you know, I I just wanted to promote uh, some future videos. Uh, I'm hoping, well, I'm just, I'm wiped out. I, I'm, I'm probably, well, today, I, you know, I'm working on the car. And, uh, you know, I, I was uh, vacuuming, uh, New Year's Eve now, I'm here, I am vacuuming out the car. I was trying to get it ready to be an Uber driver because I get 80 miles to the gallon. You know, so I'm continuing to watch YouTube videos, but it seems like Uber's just ripping off their drivers. <clears throat> I don't know. Doesn't look like a good business, you know, I'm, I, and of course I'm trying to resurrect the cybersecurity business and you can hear my uh, neighbors across the way here. They, they've all got the fireworks going for the uh, uh, New Year's. Um, so I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go to make some money. Uh, it just seems like every corporation in the United States has gone woke. I mean, even NASCAR. I mean, Brandon, what's the guy's, I, I wish I knew his last name, Brand. All I know is let's go Brandon, you know. Um, but uh, he, he finally found a sponsor. <laughs> and now Woke, Woke NASCAR is going to like boot him, boot him out of the, uh, uh, the NASCAR circuit because he had nothing to do with it. All he did was he met, he was a Republican. Uh, and, and by the way, there's a woman now, uh, she was a reporter in Arizona. Um, and uh, it looks like she's going to run for governor. And uh, it looks like she's doing doggone good. Trump has endorsed her. Uh, so, you know, we, seems like the ship may be turning around. I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, there's a lot of rhinos up there. Um, you know, they, they, they're all neocons, you know, they, we got the elite in Washington, DC that we got to expel. Uh, you, hell, you got half the country working for the federal government. It's a socialist nation almost at this point. 
uh, private businesses just being wiped out. Uh, hell, and then you know, on the news. I mean, can you imagine? AOC was down here uh, uh, in Miami, <laughs> partying her ass off in a free state because uh, she couldn't do that up in uh, in her home state. Uh, so you know, in New York, whatever. Um, so you know, I, I I don't even know why the the, the Democrats uh, vote in these people. I mean, you know, you'd think that they would see the hypocrisy. I mean, they come down here to Florida just because, you know. What the hell? I mean, they know they can party here, you know, thanks to DeSantis. So um, I guess that's kind of my year-end message. I mean, I, I'm seeing great hope. I'm seeing great hope for uh, 2022. Um, no doubt, no doubt we're going to have a stock market crash. Uh, no doubt uh, the housing market's going to crash. Um, it's going to be huge. Uh, I think my wife, you know, I'm still assessing the damage of what she's done to me. Um, I think she's left me the wherewithal to uh, survive it all. And I'm not sure, uh, you know, I've, I, I've got to get work. I mean, I'm hoping the YouTube channel, which is if you're watching this video, I'm hoping I can make uh, something go with this. I mean, but you got to get 10,000 hours of viewing time or uh, uh, what, I can't remember a thousand uh, subscribers. You know, hell, I've only got 94 at this point. So, you know, but um so anyway, I just wanted to say a happy new year. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else in the news? Uh, well, you know, Trump's coming out with this new social media account. Uh, and of course, I'm on Parler, uh, that, that cybersecurity guy on Parler. And uh, I'm that cybersec guy on Twitter. Um, you know, but I don't post hardly anything there. That's a cesspool of uh, garbage, in my opinion. Uh, you know, and it, Everybody told me I needed to be on fake book, but thank God I didn't go that route. You know, they, they've been censoring people. And uh, so anyway, I guess uh, the, the, the positive note that I want to end uh, the new year with is I think I think this is the great awakening. I think people, you know, they're they're seeing the media for what it is. I mean, CNN's ratings are in the toilet. Uh MSDNC, you know, they're, whew, they're, they're way down, you know, I mean, uh, everybody's seeing the lies and, and, and the, the, the stupid stupidity they've been spoon fed by the media. And uh, um, so I, I don't know, people, it's uh, 2022 is going to be an interesting year, especially for me, I got to go back to Virginia and take care of my mom. Um, and, uh, and of course, uh, I got to finish up the divorce. Uh, which I will probably within the next week or two. Uh, I got assuming my mom, I don't. The bat signal doesn't go up, and I have to go up to Virginia because she's not eating any food right now, uh, according to my my stepsister. So uh, anyway, peace out, stay free. Let's uh, let's do the mantra. I love doing the mantra, especially at year end, and uh, you know, let's stick it to the damn Democrats. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no lockdowns, no mask requirements, no jab requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please. And if you're a Democrat, move to California, move to New York, move to Illinois. Well, I guess uh, Minnesota is a Democrat state. You know, that, that'd be a nice northern state for you. Go up there and freeze to death. You know, get the hell out of Florida. Because we're a free state, and I certainly don't move to Texas if you're a Democrat. That's all I got to say. Let's do it. Peace out. Stay free.